this is just a quick video to show how to merge CIs in ServiceNow if you end up with more than one created. Uh, the key to this is using the Enforce CI Verification option on the model category. But first, a little introduction information. There are really two ways that you can create assets in ServiceNow. When you're just getting started with asset management, the most common way is to work with a discovery source. So you might have ServiceNow discovery, you might have other uh, external discovery sources, such as Microsoft's System Center Configuration Manager, uh, Altiris, Landesk, Casper. There are a number of different potential sources available out there. And those discovery sources would create the CI first. And based on the CI class and the model category that you have identified, an asset would automatically be created to correspond with that configuration item. The other approach is to have your assets created first. As you build out your asset management practice, you would likely get the asset information from your procurement sources first. And then you can pull in those procurement sources, uh, possibly even ServiceNow being that source coming in right from the request. And when those assets are created, the corresponding CI is created, again, based on that model category. So let's take a look at this. If I look here, and I, I'm in hardware assets right now, if I create a new hardware asset, let's create a server here. I'm just going to select a model. I'll select the uh, Dell PowerEdge C6100 rack server. We've got a new asset that was uh, purchased. And it's got a, a quick asset tag, BS12345. <clears throat> Perhaps a Dell PowerEdge-1001 uh, serial number. And I'm going to save this instead of submitting so that we can see that in fact a configuration item was created for this and vice versa if we if we did it the other way which would be similar to a discovery source coming in if we created a new server first sweet serve it's the sweet server um, but an asset tag will go with the same Dell Power Edge, and we'll make it the DPE-1002. And when I save this, you notice asset was grayed out there, but when I save this, a new asset is created. So those are the two different approaches. Now, the scenario that was presented in the community was how do I take and I merge these CIs now? What if, what if these are really the same CIs? How do I merge that? And the short answer was there's no way to merge that um, without certain options being configured first, I should add, uh, because that is how it works. So there is an option when you have enabled an option on the model category called Enforce CI Verification that allows you to merge the CI. So we've got our procurement source here that creates the asset and then a corresponding CI. And then the discovery source with this option selected is going to create a CI, but no corresponding asset. What should happen is the discovery source should automatically coalesce its information into the existing CI that was created from the asset. And it would do that based on CI identifiers. And, uh, or if it's coming from another external source, it would do it from whatever options you choose as your coalesce options uh, on the import. Uh, but this does not always line up. So having enforced CI verification gives you the option to merge that CI, uh, those two CIs together, and uh, allows you to move along nicely from that point on. So if I come back here, I'll just point out, first of all, 
that my uh, server model category, if I just go to server, too many servers in there, and for CI verification was not enabled. If I go back here, I'm going to look at computer now. On computer, I have Enforced CI Verification turned on here. What that does is for every new CI created, if I go to my computer's CI, CIs here, uh, it, there's a flag called Requires Verification. And what it does is it sets that flag to true. So if I filter out my Requires Verifications of false here, I see that I have some computers in here that require verification. And these computers now have the option. I have the option to either create an asset directly or I can merge the CI with an existing CI that was maybe created from, uh, from my assets being brought into the system. If you wanted to create assets for multiple items at once, you could do that here from the list view. So you can create assets, multiple assets at once if you uh, did not have those assets coming in in another way. But let's let's take the example here. Let's say that I, I did, in fact, order this PC. It was a uh, Dell PowerEdge T710. Let's say the asset did come in separately, and it really doesn't matter if it came in before or after in this case. But I often use that example of it coming in before from a, a procurement source, uh, as that happens before the item is on the network and discoverable usually. And let's take a computer, and it was a Dell PowerEdge T710. We'll give it an asset tag, JM12345, so we can identify it. And I'm going to save this just to show you that it does in fact create the configuration item and in that configuration item hopefully we had the serial number in there too uh, dpe001 and and that could be brought in with the uh, asset information usually so now we've got this uh, this computer that exists twice in the system it exists uh, as an asset but also as two ci's because it created this, uh, this computer CI with it. So let's come back here. And as we go through and work with our CIs that require verification, we might realize that this, in fact, does have an existing uh, CI already created from the asset. So I choose to merge the CI. I'm going to choose the CI to merge. Now it's just based on the name, which is not always the easiest thing, so I do recommend using the magnifying glass here. Uh, the other thing that you will likely want to do is add some fields to this that are going to make it a whole lot easier to uh, determine if it already exists. So in this case, I know what the asset tag is that I'm searching for. So I'm going to update the list layout here to include, not include the class, location I'm going to add the asset tag because I know what the asset tag is for my device save that list now I've got my asset tag here and my asset tag in this case was JM12345 and it helps if you do a search on asset tag JM12345 Looks like I've used this asset tag before. That's not a good ca use case. It should uh, should be unique. In this case, we do know it was a power edge. Uh, I must have had somebody with JM initials in a past class. This is the power edge that we want to merge. We merge that record. And now it is properly associated with the asset as it should have been. <clears throat> And other information, if it were, if it existed in that uh, that CI record, would have also remained in the uh, configuration here. And that's a quick look 
at how to do that.